the thing that really defined the social aspect of stuff to me was more so than like shows at rock venues was the potlucks that people were having. The potlucks were a way to get starving musicians fed. And the key was to have it at your house. Because if you did, you know, people would leave stuff there and you, you could eat for the next 10 days, no problem. All the utopian, far out ideas that we would come up with at potlucks, smoking our herbal substances and eating fantastic vegetarian food. The first time I went to one, I was like, wow, we're gonna talk about like recording techniques. And people were talking about organic farming and geodesic domes. And you'd bring your recordings. When In the Airplane Over the Sea came back from Denver, we had potluck, and we're like, put that record on. In the Airplane Over the Sea, that was recorded right around the same time as the Minders record, Hooray for Tuesday. For whatever my vision had been up to whenever those records were made, for my engineering vision, those records completed it. I love you, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, I love you. We would hear the sessions quite a bit. They had a story. They had a a whole complete idea. When some of the songs on Airplane were being recorded, I think O Comely it is, he, he did the whole thing in one take. When we finished, we had a CD party. You know, everybody come over to the house and listen to the record. Within 120 seconds, everything went silent. I remember he said, I really want Will to like go in and do some cool electronic stuff on it. But Will was like, no, <laughs> this, this is the record. I had never heard anything orchestrated quite like that. The lyrics are very floral, but also grounded. As an entire thing, it's an amazing, evocative work of music. The early Neutral Milk shows, you know, they never rehearsed that much, and they were never really a tight band, but they had this really awesome energy and power. You were afraid that it was just all gonna fall apart at any minute. It's fun to kind of play in the danger zone sometimes. That element of spontaneity is crucial. to it not because you're feeling the same way necessarily but because someone's exposing their real guts. I think it speaks to that time in your life too where you're just trying to figure out your own way in the world and want to call bullshit on some stuff. It's not always awesome and it's also so beautiful it's so incredibly beautiful and I think that music just puts those feelings across. Mm -hmm. 